name is Jared Spurrier and this is Zach Power and today we're going to show you how to service the planetary gearbox on your Trinity trailer. Before removing the gear assembly be sure to mark the cover and the housing in order to ensure that it is clocked correctly during reassembly. First off you're going to want to pull the drain plug on the bottom of the gear assembly. Then you're going to want to remove the hydraulic lines from the planetary motor. All right, once this is done, you can remove the 12 bolts holding the cover on. And when removing the final bolt, be sure to have an extra set of hands as they weigh about 95 pounds. All right, once removed, you can remove the gear, internal gears from the motor assembly. All right, and once completely disassembled, you can then take all the internal gears over to the parts washer and clean everything before reassembly. And if a parts washer is unavailable, you can use a simple brake clean or a carburetor cleaner to remove all the old oil. Look for any damaged teeth or damaged gears on the internal components. Um, just give them a good overall inspection. Alrighty, and once satisfied with the cleanliness of the gears, um, you can go ahead and begin the reassembly. Before reassembling, you're going to want to apply a light coating of a silicone sealant on each sealing surface or mating surface on the gearbox. You also want to make sure you blow out the inner housing and inspect the inner the inner bearing of the planetary gearbox. All right. So using your timing marks that you had marked, you're going to want to line up the inner hub of the planetary motor to the inner bearing housing. And also reinstall one bolt just to provide some reassurance that it doesn't fall down on your toes. Then you can install the primary gear. Once you get all the teeth lined up, it should slide in rather easily. Then you can install the secondary gear, and then following that would be the sun gear. Yep. Then also use a little bit of silicone to secure the thrust washer to the outer cover of the planetary just so it doesn't fall off during reassembly and it doesn't end up on the floor. All right, before you install the cover, you have to remove your, your safety bolt. Once on there, make sure to line up your hash marks that you marked previously. Okay, and once you have one loosely tightened, go ahead and install the remaining 11 bolts. And as you're installing these, you don't want to tighten them with the air impact. You're going to want to go ahead and snug them up and then we can follow up and we'll actually torque them um, to their proper specification. Right, and then using the torque wrench, he's going to ensure that each one of the 12 bolts is torqued down to between 42 and 44 foot pounds. All right, and once torqued down correctly, you can go ahead and reinstall the hydraulic lines to the planetary motor. And be sure that you did mark your hydraulic lines and that they are assembled correctly in order to ensure that your shaft does turn the correct direction. A good note to remember is that the B port on the planetary motor is always your return port. All right, and so once removed, you can go ahead and uh, refill your planetary gearbox with a 80-90 grade gear oil. While you're filling, pay attention to the full drain hole as once you start to see oil seep from that you'll know you have plenty of fluid in your gearbox. And once you see that you can go ahead and reinstall the small plug on the right hand side reinstall the fill plug on the top side. Once reassembled and full of oil test run the system to ensure rotation of the conveyor assembly. And other than that you have successfully serviced your planetary gearbox on your Trinity trailer.